Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today is What's New Wednesday, and I wanted to share a few things with you. I have a Dollar Tree haul. I have a few things that I picked up from Walmart that I thought would be interesting and nice to try. And I also wanted to share some of the Cella Creates printables. So these are they. <laughs> And I actually used matte photo paper. I'm gonna show you that photo paper in a moment. And I think they came out great. So right now I just have these two full sheets that I printed because, this is the other one, because I've already cut the others out. And I made duplicates of this, so I haven't cut this one out yet, okay. So this is what they look like cut out. I think they, let's put this on here. I think they turned out really nice. This is not what just one set. This is multiple sets of printables. I'll link to the individual collections or sets in the description box below. But this is what they look like. And I, I just really think they turned out great on the photo paper. Um, you could use these in your planner, in your journal. I am using them uh, in a journal that I am making. So, well, let's see, we already saw the words. So we got the floral, the dream, got a butterfly. I think all of these are from the denim kit, which I'll link below. These are some more of the bright girls. You got text. So I just think these turned out really nice especially on the matte photo paper. We've got these. That one, some more text. And I actually cut all of these out by hand. Just, actually, I think I was listening to an audio book and I just started cutting. So, oop, that doesn't go. And this, and then this. Okay, so that's all of those. Then I decided, because the main theme of the journal that I'm working on is kind of black, black and white, I went ahead and printed it in black and white. I didn't change the actual file when I pulled the file into Adobe. I changed it to print in grayscale. And so these are what I got. But the paper just feels... I don't know, I guess the best description I can give is it feels velvety. It feels really nice. Um, so these are the black and white versions. And I'm excited to use these in my journal. I'm still working on a way to do my um, junk journals or handmade journals and put more modern images in them versus the vintage look all the time. So yeah, are these even in frame? Yeah, they're in frame. Okay, so just printing the color version in black and white gives me a whole other look and I can use them in a completely different way. And this is the journal that I'm working on. As you can see, I used one of the images on the cover. And so I'll be using more of these inside. This is what it looks like so far. And I started this cover a while ago. And so yesterday I just kind of sat in here and went ahead and stitched the pages in. And so I am working on that. But I just think these images are perfect for that. And again, they're great for your planner too, but for this, I think they are perfect. Okay, so before we get into the haul type things, I also have a new set of stickers here from Let's Get Planned. So let's go in and see what we've got. This is pretty thick. Okay, so these are inspo quotes, just breathing and being easy, embracing my journey. I am proud of me living in the moment here and now, here and now. 
stressed but blessed then these are remember so I think we're getting some script stickers from let's get planned I like the to do to do stickers those are nice good size then we have DJ planning we have DJ working I like those so I'm guessing that DJ is the character sticker for Let's Get Plan. So this one is DJ whining down. She has a wine glass. Then we have DJ on the move. She's driving. Another script, priorities. And then this week, I like the scripts. Okay, so this is the April 2023 Let's Get Planned collection. Oh, gosh, I love it. Now, after I just said more modern, less vintage look, I love this. This is so pretty. I have to save this for something else, not my planner. <laughs> Okay, do we have more than one page? Yes. Wow. Pink Victorian. Look at that. It's like a lace. These are so, oh God. These are so nice. Pink Victorian. So you got the days of the week. So this is a kit. Pretty sure. Yes. Then the deco stickers. I saw a sneak peek of, I think, this page. And I was like, ooh, that is interesting. Look at that. Victorian Queens. Okay. Then this. This is line art. She. Those would be good. They can work with any spread because they're neutral then we have good vibes only this looks like a kit yes got the doll some florals and boxes and the days of the week I think this is like a mini kit very nice I love this the colors the tones this is oasis it says embracing and loving my ego Living in my divinity, I create my own oasis. I, I like these with the backgrounds. There were some like this last month too. The one with the music and the ballet. I really like. Okay. Tracy on the town. There's lots of florals. With her cat eyes on. Here we go again. With the scenery and the florals. Nice. Life is for adventures. Justice adventures. So you got some ladybugs are one of my favorite things. Oh, so those are really cute. I like the red. It's good that she's pretty neutral and can work with the red really well. That's nice. Ooh, the Volkswagen is cute. More ladybugs and more of the red florals. She's really cute. Love the braid detail. Okay, here we go with Boho Dreams. More of a neutral look. I think these are circular. Yes, they are. Those are nice. Then wildflowers. I asked for more flowers. I got some flowers. I like that because they can add accents to any spread. Okay. Then we have oh, book lover. I like the uh, washi strips. Oh, and they are shaped. I wasn't expecting that. Look at that. I like that. Lost in a book. She escaped in a book. 
Life is better with books, book lover. So this is another kit. It has the days of the week. Okay, then this one, abstract notions. I caught a sneak peek of this too. I really like this. This is great for the summer. Abstract notions. It's a kit. Has that motherland vibe. Very nice. This one is okay. And this has the days of the week. So this is a whole kit too. That's going to be fun to use because it's like a neutral, but I don't know. It's something special about that one. Gone with the wind. <laughs> I'm just a free spirit living in the moment. Lots of florals. Got some butterflies. Love the girl on the bike. More florals. This is Mother's Day 2023. I like this. It's not frumpy. I like that. Mother's Day 2023. So I guess, yeah, yeah that is in May, isn't it? <laughs> Mother's Day 2023 with the days of the week and the boxes, the um, script. Well, they're not actually scripts. The to do task and goals, the bullet points. And then here we go. Graduation celebration. I love it. I love it. I love it. OK, very proud of you. Blessed. That's nice. These are nice. I'm looking forward to using this one. So it has like the traditional graduation colors, but I like that it has a punch of color included with it. So you can kind of still have a nice, bright, pretty spread, not just, you know, the traditional typical colors. I like that. And they work well together. Very nice. And then this is the thank you card, which is also a dashboard. And I didn't, I don't think I gave the size of it the last time. So let's see, it is five. Is it five by seven? By seven, yes. So it's a five by seven dashboard. Love the background. The dolls work great with it. Very nice. Okay, so you got a little bit of everything here. We got kits for graduation, Mother's Day, uh, like a summer vibe going on here. Book lovers. Then what else we got? I flipped it upside down. We got some scripts now. We've got some character stickers in the doll collection for the month. Line art. Uh, this is still got kind of a spring floral vibe. And a few neutrals in here. And of course, some extra florals. And this one that I love so much, the pink Victorian, Victorian Queens. These are great. Okay. So that is everything from Let's Get Planned. I will link to them in the description box below. Please go check them out and let them know that Rochelle sent you. Um, yeah, go ahead and get your stickers. <laughs> okay. So now let's jump back to how nice these printables look from Cella Creates. I use some new paper that is matte photo paper by Pen and Gear from Walmart. Why did I write 728? I wrote 728 here, but that's for something else. It was 1088 um, and it has 50 sheets of 110 pounds. I think the 1088 accounts for the, the heavier weight of cardstock because that is a little expensive, but it is a heavier weight. Now this doesn't say that it's uh, double-sided oh yes it does 
double sided printing. So, okay. Epson has really good photo paper. I'll have to check the prices to compare. Um, I'm not sure of the weight of their cardstock, but some of their matte papers are only single sided. This is double sided. What I like about this is I can just drive down to the Walmart and pick it up. I haven't checked to see if it's in um, all of the Walmarts that I frequent, but it is nice that I can just go there and get it right off the shelf. Uh, it's for inkjet or desktop cutting machine. Oh, it works with cutting machines. They even know about those. <laughs> okay. Ideal for photo and craft projects. Okay. And you get 50 sheets, eight and a half by 11. It gives you some information about print printing, but as you can see, the quality is it's spectacular to me it's just as good as the epson if not better okay when i picked this one up there were three on the shelf i picked up two and i'm going to check the other walmart stores that i shop at to see if they have this on the shelf i hope it wasn't just a fluke that this store actually had this uh, then i picked up this pack of cardstock that's what was seven dollars and 28 cents it's 60 sheets and it's 80 pounds. Again, I think that accounts for the higher cost uh, because it's a heavier weight. It is a little different. I think, yes, the color is a little different from what I would normally get from Michaels. So it's a very light craft card stock. Not sure how I feel about that, but I will see how it performs. And if there are any issues, I'll let you know. But that's what it looks like. I do prefer the darker craft, though. But I could see where this could be useful. Okay. So there is that. And here's a few other things that I picked up from Walmart. I have this one and a half yard of carnation lace. It's basically a big piece of lace. It's polyester. It's not like quality lace, but to cover a large surface, I thought this would be nice. So I grabbed that. They also have this in black and I picked up these hemp cords. Uh, they're number 20 in neutral color. So I got the browns and the grays. So I picked up some cord not long ago for my son uh, to fix something and he ended up not using it and I just started using it for craft projects and I really liked it. So when I saw these in Walmart, I picked them up. Normally, I think the one that I got for him, I got from Michaels, but since Michaels doesn't do the coupons like they used to, I rarely even go there anymore. So I always think when I pass by, I should stop in and see what they got. But usually I just don't do it because I've been disappointed so many times going in there that they had nothing new that I just felt like it wasn't worth it. Okay, so now for the Dollar Tree haul, Let's set these aside. I picked up a spatula. <laughs> it is not for cooking, it is for pressing down hot glue, okay? So I have the makeup spatulas too, but I thought this would be better to work with the hot glue. Cause I've been using hot glue a lot more lately. I also got a another makeup spatula. Uh, I want to have enough so that I can use them for specific purposes. So I have a few already. And so I'm just adding another color to what I have. So I got the regular spatula. I got the makeup spatula. I also picked up some of these multi-use labels. They are small labels. What is it? Three by one inch. You get 72. It says removable adhesive. I hope not. Well, I can just hit it with the glue stick. But I thought I could stamp on these and use these in my journal making. You could also do the same thing. Stamp on them and use them in your planner. You could use your highlighters to color them or outline the edge of the uh, label quite a few things you could do with those 
All right. Then this was a shocker. I found Project Life in Dollar Tree. This is 40 themed cards. I kind of just took one for the team because I do not need Project Life cards. Um, but I wanted to see what these were. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess they're your, just the typical Project Life cards. They have the bright color scheme. These are the 4 by 6 I like that one with the months on it. Um, let's see, what is this one? Just giving you a general idea. Yeah, brights. Not typically my color scheme. But they're cute. And I can use them. So this is where we get into the duplicates. Doing what we love. Guess I could just turn them over. Hi. So basically the backs have a sp space for you to write. And the front is the decorative part. Best day ever. So very summery again. Cute. I like this one. simple spread smiles and then we go with that so that i think that's pretty good for a dollar 25 project life uh in dollar tree i guess i won't put them back in the packaging for now then i got the other one they had two they had two different styles so this one the four by sixes, the smaller ones are three by four. Hello there, you are my sunshine on a rainy day. Make it happen. My fave, be bright. You are my favorite. Love you to the moon and back. Love this. That, be happy, be happy. Hello, hello. Yep. Lovely day, lovely day. I like these because on one side it's horizontal, on the other side is vertical. So depending on the format of your page, you can use either side. I think that's pretty cool. Um, then here are the three by fours. Le live out loud. Do what makes you happy. Always be grateful. Hello, sunshine. You and me. Tomorrow is a new day. I like that color combination. You make me smile. You capture my heart. Make today amazing. You are awesome. Do what you love. Okay, I get it. Do what you love. Love what you do. Make something great. Create. I like that one. Go on an adventure. Hello, darling. You make me happy. Okay. Enough of the sickly sweetness. <laughs> All right. So that is the two sets of Project Life cards that I found in Dollar Tree. Then I picked up something that was kind of impulse. I've picked these up before. I think they would make great additions to a journal. This is a removable peel and stick tile decal in a butterfly shape. And it's not overly stiff. It's very flexible. It looks like it's tin or aluminum or some type of metal, but it's not. And like I said, it's very flexible. So. I'm going to try and figure out a good way to use this. I'll see what I come up with, but I bought two in case I messed one up. This is, I guess, how you're supposed to use them as home decor, but I don't think I'll be interested in that. Anyway, so I'm going to play around with those and see what I can come up with. 
I also found these chalkboard stickers. Uh, they had a big pack. I think was just a solid piece of the chalkboard sticker. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell what it was specifically, so I did not pick it up. Um, I just got the labels. So that's what these are. And they do have that chalkboard finish. And it's just one sheet. Uh, rip off. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have anything to test writing on these with. So I'll have to get something to see if it works. It feels like it would work fine. Um, yeah, I don't have any chalk writing utensils or whatever. But they do have these chalk labels at Dollar Tree. I also picked up this Jot Traveler's Notebook. I think this one is the 4x6. Really, I got it for the notebooks inside to be recovered and to use for another project. But no, they're bigger than 4x6. So it is about 5 and 3 quarters in height as far as the notebooks and uh, it is four by six it's about four by six the notebooks are cut a little shorter than six but they are four inches wide so i would say this is a four by six traveler's notebook i picked this one up they had several other colors but i did not like the other colors so i just got this one and i picked these up before um not crazy about the quality of the cover it's kind of yuck <laughs> to me i don't really like it but i think for the two notebooks inside that it is worth it and if you just want something to just toss around toss in your bag or whatever just to have something to write down a quick note these are really cute it's just not it's just that i'm used to i guess the real leather these feel like Oh, what does it feel like? It feels like a placemat, probably, with a strange brown backing on it. All right, I know that sounds like Dollar Tree hate, but... And I did find some new clear acrylic stamps at Dollar Tree. This is the first set. It is 13 pieces, and it just says craft, but these are like... Um, some type of floral i don't know what the, i don't know flowers so but that is what it looks like it's got larger stamps and smaller stamps it's got like individual pieces in, where you could build your own floral uh cluster then we have this one this is more this has more of a vintage vibe this has more of an illustrated vibe again it just says craft it's 13 pieces and it has where you can assemble your own flower. So it has the stem with the leaves. It has the vase or the vase. So you can create your own vase of flowers. Then I also found these alpha and number stamps. I kind of got this one to show you because I think it would be quite tedious to use these, but you do get one, two, three, four different fonts. And then you get the row of numbers at the bottom there. So you can kind of create your own words. I find, like I said, I find that tedious to do, but in a pinch I have done it. So, you know, and Dollar Tree uh, clear acrylic stamps tend to be pretty good quality compared to some of the stamps you get from other places like Timu and Shein. I prefer the quality of Dollar Tree stamps, although I like those, the stamps from Timu and Shein just as well. It's just that I feel like they may not hold up as long. Okay, so here is another set, nine pieces, and it has more florals. It has um, dragonflies, and it has some scripts or some sentiments. You are an inspiration for a true friend. May good things grow all year long. Thank you for your kindness. And that's what that one looks like. I like the two uh, dragonflies. This one, 12 pieces, more florals. It has bees on it and scripts or sentiments. Such happy news. Best of luck. 
Stay wonderful. You're the nicest. Miss you. So glad we're family. So those were nice. These will be good for card making. I always think I want to make cards, but I never actually sit down to do it. Should I make cards? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know also what kind of cards would you like me to make? All right. This is another one. Nine pieces. It has big florals. Um, it says happy birthday. I like you. Thank you. Time for a happy dance. Sending a card instead of a text. That's cute. I like that one. Just a note. And that's what that one looks like. Now there are a few more new acrylic stamps at Dollar Tree that I am on the hunt for. So I don't know. I may take you all along with me the next time I go looking for them and see what we can find. But that is it. That is everything I have from Dollar Tree and all other sources for this What's New Wednesday. Don't forget to go over and check out Let's Get Planned. The new releases are available now. Make sure you let them know that Rochelle sent you and I will link to them in the description box below. Also, don't forget to go over and check out Chella Creates. I do have a discount code for Chella Creates. I will leave it below along with the links to the individual kits that I printed here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.